After cooking school, I actually got to work in Tony Bilson's restaurant at the time at the Radisson Hotel. And that really made me 100% realize that I didn't want to be a chef, but that I was absolutely mad keen about food. I've been in the olive industry since probably around 2007. We're a small family business and we all do lots of things. <laughs> Growing up in Singapore had influence on my love of food and my wanting to be involved in food. Like you go and have your breakfast and you're already talking about where you're gonna go and have your prawn noodles for lunch. And whilst you're having your prawn noodles for lunch, you're already talking about which is the best place to get salt and pepper crab in Singapore and fighting about which is the best place. I really got to see that food brings people a lot of joy and it's such a kind of pleasure-seeking thing, enjoying really beautiful food. This place is called Hopeful Ranch, but when I was a child, I used to call it Hopeless. This used to be a sheep and cattle farm. I've been coming to this property since I was a little girl. My father has had a relationship with this land since he was in his early 20s. It's the Abercrombie wilderness, as my dad always says, and it feels that way. Over the years, I've just really connected to the beauty of this environment. It's quite a harsh environment. It's not good soil here. There's hardly any flat surfaces anywhere, but we've made it comfortable. So we've kept it basically as a sanctuary. I chose to take parts of the farm which were not good for pasture and to start planting olive trees and for quite a while not very successfully. And so for the first few years basically everything I planted died. So I realized then that I had to study it which I ultimately did. I became really keen to learn and I supplemented that by traveling to other olive growing regions in Spain and Italy, ultimately uh, Argentina and places like that to learn more about it. I had to learn about what actually made it a really good olive oil. So that's what we aimed at. Once those trees started to grow, they just added a magic element to this place that I was so drawn to. It's been since the olive trees were in the ground that my relationship to this place really bloomed and developed into an absolute love for this land. I think it's very special. I think it always will be, now, forever. I think what kept me going was ultimately in our first harvest, and Westerly and Henry, my son, were here and their friends came down. We ended up with 11 litres of oil. And I can still remember putting it on the table there and the sun coming in through the windows. Just, it just looked like gold. That was enough to inspire me to keep going. Seeing that my father had created something really amazing and interesting to build this olive farm in the middle of nowhere <laughs> and produce this really good oil made me very interested in studying and learning more about extra virgin olive oil. Olives are pretty much the oldest cultivated tree known to man. What Alto means to me is it's a sustainable business. It's good for the earth. It represents to me all the important things of what food should be. Initially, we were unsure of what really made a great oil, but ultimately we, we reached a point where I think we're satisfied, we understand how to do it. It's really about extending not just the quality of the oil, but the quality of everything we do here, the quality of the commitment to the environment, the quality 
of our people. Wesley's a very good example of it. They love what they do. That's what makes it so rewarding. It's not even producing a great oil. It's doing something that you value and that you believe in. We just want to keep it going. I love my dad and look up to him for so many reasons. He's an inspiration and his work ethic is second to none. He's the most amazing entrepreneur that I have ever met. He's built a multi-award winning, world recognized olive grove that makes some of the best extra virgin olive oil and table olives in the world. Good food to me is a whole story. Good food is about sustaining yourself or the people that you love, feeding them or feeding yourself with something that has been grown, farmed, raised well, and that doesn't totally destroy the planet. And so good food is about eating with a conscience. What we want is just to continue doing what we're doing and doing it really well. We just want to keep doing what feeds us and sustains us with our work and with this land and with this place and bringing this amazing, natural, nutritious and delicious food to as many people as we can in the best possible way that we can.